Amor fati is a Stoic phrase that's in Latin, and it's roughly translated to to love fate or to love what is. And I'd like to make the case that incorporating this phrase or this Stoic concept into your life will single-handedly reduce your cortisol levels, your stress levels, and make you a better spouse, partner, parent, friend to others, and friend to yourself. Taking it this simple translation of just to, to love what is, critics will say that it's just an excuse that people give to be complacent, to give up. And they're not necessarily wrong because with most spiritual practices, there's a, a shadow side. And when I say shadow side, I mean it's usually the opposite side of the same coin. It's an, the unhealthy version of a healthy practice. And so the unhealthy version of a morfati would be complacency, passivity, detachment, and fatalism. But that's not what this is in practice. So if that's not what it is, what is it? And for me, bringing examples and stories is what really brings concepts like this to life. So the first example, and arguably one of the best examples out there, is the story of Viktor Frankl. In his book, Man's Search for Meaning, he talks about his experience being thrust into concentration camps. His situation was horrendous and completely out of his control. If you have read or listened to this book by Viktor Frankl, you'll see that he is a practicing this radical accepting of what is. And in doing that, he's able to transcend his external environment through inner strength and mental attitude to create the purpose and meaning that he needs in order to get through the horrible situation that he is in. And I'm not going to go as far as to assert that he loved what what was for him, that he, that he was loving his situation, but he practiced this radical acceptance of what is, and that contributed to his ability to change his mental attitude and, his, and, and to find purpose in the situation that he was in. And that is what allowed him to persevere and to survive the Holocaust. This concept or ideology is not unique to Frankel or to the Stoics. You'll find it in stories in Christianity like the story of Job or the story of the prodigal son. You'll find it in Buddhism with the story of the farmer and his son. And then my personal favorite in Greek mythology, the story of Sisyphus. But to bring it more personal, for example, I can run every day, I can train, I can lift weights, I can eat healthy, I can dial in my nutrition, my hydration, but at the end of the day, I can still have a bad race. And in life, I can live a healthy life. I can eat the right foods. I can adopt the right physical exercise. I can do everything within my power to live a healthy life. But at the end of the day, I might still get cancer. There are things that are outside of our control. And a more fati in a healthy practice is understanding that all we can do is all we can do. Then accepting what is, loving what is, with the reassurance of knowing that you did all that you could do. That's what a morfati is. That's what gives you the peace of mind that I think we're all seeking for, is loving what is. Because so much of our anxiety and stress level and high cortisol levels are due to the fact that we worry about things that are outside of our control. And that in turn affects all of our relationships. And that's, so, that's what I meant by in the beginning saying that if you're able to incorporate a more fati into your life, it will make your relationship with yourself better and your relationship with everyone around you better. Because all of that stress and anxiety and things that you worry about will come down. I'm not going to say it's going to be eliminated, but from my experience, and I know I'm oversimplifying a very complex topic, which is anxiety, but in my experience, physical exercise and Amor Fati put together have made me an incredibly better person and brought my anxiety and worry and overall well-being into a better place. This concept has become such a central part of my life that I have a necklace and one of the phrases on that necklace that I wear every day is Amor Fati. And as I put the, 
the necklace on every day. It serves as a physical reminder for me to remember to practice this concept, this ideology of radical acceptance of what is so that I can focus on what I can control and then develop a sense of inner peace by loving what is. So anyways, I am not an expert in Stoic philosophy. I'm not an expert in any of this, but I like to learn a lot about it and then share what I've learned. So if this was interesting to you or thought provoking, stick around. I'll catch you in the next video.